Okay, I've had the dim lights on this uh, just so that you could see the effect, but we're drawing about 360 milliamps and we're running at 681 RPM. Now let me put the camera on the tripod. Okay, here we are. Now we're just, if you notice, we are just connected to the toroid only. Here's the positive, here's the negative, there's the two AC ports coming in, and that's where we're at. Okay, so we're just working with the toroid, and here are the two output leads from the toroid ridge rectifier. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to make a switch. I'm gonna show you when we, of course, you've seen this, all right, we're, we're making power, you just hit the wires, and yes, it sparks, you can see it. All right, now, the on the magnetic rotor itself, there are two set screws on this end hub. Uh, there's, there's one here, and 180 degrees is the other one. So we've got uh, two holes spinning each time around, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bridge that hole, we're gonna jump it, actually, with the positive wire here. I can feel it, you can't really, you can't see that, but I can feel it. And we're gonna bring this negative wire in here, and we're gonna touch the smooth part of the hub. All right, we get the spark, you see that. All right, now, if we bring the negative wire over the holes as well, this is your typical output, because we've got it in a dead short, and all we're doing is turning it on and off, just as if we were touching the wires back and forth, together, and then away from each other. So now, we're gonna bring the negative over the holes, and look at the intensity. Off, on, off, on, off, on it more than doubles, maybe quadruples. Okay, now that's pretty incredible, but watch. When I put the negative wire 60 to 90 degrees out of phase with this positive wire or in rotation, you're gonna see, let me put this up towards the top so you can actually see the effect, and there it is. We've doubled it again or quadrupled it again. You see this? Off. There's our standard little short. On with the double. Off. On. This is amplification. This is similar, probably similar to a Tesla switch or, or something of that nature. Off. On. Just using the toroid. You see where we're going with this? Let me bring it back up here again. Okay, there's our standard little spark. There's our intensity. Off, on, off, on, 90 degrees. One of these wires has to be over the core of the toroid, and the other one has to be in alignment with the coil, at least at some position. So I like, I think this is probably the best position here where it's in the center with the coil and center with the gap space between the coils on the, the toroid core. I was gonna save this for the Q4, but I'm sorry, folks. I just couldn't hold it from you any longer. It was just too awesome, and I, I didn't want it to go away by some misunfortunate uh, event. So here it is. Look at this. This is this is just incredible. There it is off. It's still got the dead short. There it is, double quadruple, whatever you want to call it. It's just it's just incredible. Let's get it on there. All right. Makes me nervous. It's just so cool. You do see where we're going. Come on, you guys. Do this. Let's, let's make this happen.